Hello, welcome back. Well, this time I have a great big pile of filament over here. And this is Silk PLA, and the manufacturer is Ziltec. They're out of Houston, Texas, so USA made. You don't know how long I've been waiting to use this prop. And so this is what we have. I have all kinds of test prints. I've been using this material for many months, and I have all kinds of empty spools off to the side over here. I think 27 at last count. So here's what I have that's kind of laying around and a bunch of still in storage. So what I'll do is I'm gonna give you a rundown on this material uh, from everything from how it's packed to dialing it in to getting great prints with it. Are you ready? Let's do this. Welcome back. Well, first of all, introductions. My name is Paul. This is my channel where nerdy is cool. I'm big into 3D printing, tutorials, reviews, the, the whole, you get it, the whole thing. Uh, I'm also big into cosplay. I've built my own R2D2. I'm a private pilot. So a huge amount of interest all pumped into one channel. So welcome. If you're not a subscriber, I wish you'd consider becoming one because 96% of you are not subscribers. So click that link down below and become one. Okay, so first of all, let's talk about Ziltec. So I'm gonna bring you to their website and show you where you can find this material. Okay, if you go to ziltec.com, you're gonna see their website. And what we wanna do is we wanna go under filament and we're gonna go under their Ziltec specialty filament. And when you click that, you're gonna see all of these silks. So they sell these in single, dual, and tri-colors, and they're $19.95 for a one kilogram spool. And also wanna make you aware that there is a coupon code that I have in the description down below that can save you some money. So this is where you can find all of these amazing colors. So they have all kinds of different series. And as you can see through here, here's how you can choose between them. And they got some sample prints that give you an idea of what it's going to look like. So when you receive the material, what can you expect? Well, you're gonna see a wonderful vacuum sealed spool of filament, and you're gonna see a desiccant in the middle. And I just wanna point out that the spools, uh, these are gonna work for those of you that have a Bamboo Labs AMS Lite. So those of you that have the A1 or the A1 Mini, this is gonna work just fine, no adapter required. Uh, and of course, being a plastic spool, it's gonna work fine on the other Bamboo Labs AMS units. Uh, I don't have any of the other multi-material systems, but again, plastic spools are way better than cardboard, so uh, those are gonna work great. The other thing I wanna point out is that the wind on this material, and I'm gonna pull one of these out and do a zoom here, very nicely wound. So you're not gonna have to worry about tangles, so that's fantastic. Now, the one thing I would recommend, I'm not familiar with their fabrication process, but what I have been doing is I do dry this before use. Uh, I find that if I dry it before use, I eliminate a lot of potential problems, say stringing and other things. Okay, so you have the material, you're loading it in the printer after it's been dried, what are the next steps? So what I would do is I would do a temperature tower, and this is a uh, temperature tower that I happen to grab off of the uh, Bamboo Lab makerspace, and uh, because for these tests, I did them on the Bamboo Lab. And what I'm gonna show you here on my temperature tower, and of course it's, it's a multicolor, so it's kind of cool how it goes, these multiple shades here with a particular filament. But what I like about uh, this particular test is what I would do is I would make sure you put it against a backlight. So what you can do is check for any strings. Now I'm not sure with the shininess of the silk, how well it's gonna show, maybe that's gonna work well. But I found when I was doing my test prints that uh, 220 was a little stringy, 215 seemed to be the sweet spot. Uh, so I'm trying to get my finger to the right spot here, it's 215. And you can also double check, don't go just by, you know, I'm, I'm going by the strings here, but you can also check on the edges here where there's a 45 degree. Uh, you can also see how it's doing on these edges and the holes. Now, silk filament can sometimes struggle with overhang, so you know, be prepared for that if you're gonna do anything that has steep overhangs. Uh, that's been my experience with it. So the other thing that I did is once I selected on 215, I was curious what the Bamboo Lab setting would be. So for the Bamboo Lab, what I did is I used their uh, generic silk setting and that prints at 220. And this printed really, really great. The only thing I noticed is that as you get in here, you, if the focus wants to play nice for me, 
there's a little bit of stringing inside with these guys here. So remember, I identified 215 as being the sweet spot, but I wanted to see what the default silk profile it would do on the Bamboo Lab slicer, on the Bamboo Lab printer. And then what I did is I set to 215 and those strings went away. So everything looks great. And I'm sorry if the focus is not working. I did, there it is, oh, there it was. But anyway, yeah, 215 was definitely the sweet spot for me for this material. Now those are the settings I use for the Bamboo Lab Machine. I know there's a lot of folks that have the Bamboo Lab Machines. Uh, on my other printers, it's the same thing. I did a temperature tower, uh, tried to find what the best temperature was. Now with Silk PLA, you tend to want to be a little bit on the higher side for adhesion. You want those layers to really stick. And uh, on my other machines, I found a mix of between 215 and 220 to be the sweet spot. Now, again, don't stop just with the temperature tower. What I would also do is I would dial in your flow settings. There's other videos online that tell you how to do that. And it would also be a pretty good idea to check your attraction settings. So you want to make sure you're eliminating all those strings. And again, if you dry your material before using it, you're also going to eliminate a lot of those potential strings if your, if your filament has picked up any moisture. Quick pause. Are you enjoying the content? I, I hope you are. Uh, down below, I have a link for Kofi where you can support creators like me. I do this as a side gig. It takes a lot of time to put this all together, editing and such like that. So if you want to give me a tip, I'd really appreciate it. Thanks so much. Now, as far as prints, I got a close up here of all these prints I've been doing. Um, the Axe of Lottle has been a real popular one. Um, of course, the dragons are popular, but there are so many neat designs out there that you can use a silk material and really have it pop. So uh, definitely worth trying out. I think you're going to love it. Okay, so that's it for this. What do you think? I mean, for $19.95 and one kilogram and it's USA made, this stuff is fantastic. I highly recommend. Uh, do try it out. Take advantage of the coupon code so you can save some money and the you know, the kickback helps the channel out a little bit too. So thank you there. Let me know in the comment section what you think. Do you already have this? Have you used it? What kind of results did you get? I'd love to hear from you. If you want to see what I'm working on next, check out my social media. I'm on Instagram. I'm on X. Of course, here on YouTube and the website is coming soon. That's it for this time. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give me a like. If you haven't subscribed already, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And remember, above all, please print safe.